Today was the last chance for Scots to have one final flourish, making the most of a cold snap during a Tier 4 lockdown. But the chance to gather like this outdoors in groups of six to enjoy the few freedoms remaining has now been brought to a very sudden stop. Modelling shows Scottish hospitals will be overwhelmed by coronavirus within a month, and so the nation's First Minister is responding with another full lockdown. We consider that this stay-at-home message and advice is now so important that from uh, tomorrow uh, it will become law just as it was in the lockdown last year. This means it will only be permissible to leave home for an essential purpose. This will include, for example, caring responsibilities, essential shopping, exercise and being part of an extended household. From midnight tonight, it's only permitted to meet one person from one other household outdoors. Scotland's schools were supposed to reopen on the 18th of January, but they'll now stay closed until at least the 1st of February. And those shielding have to work from home if they can, and if they can't, they're told not to go into work. But there is growing frustration that Scotland has become stuck in a cycle of lockdowns with no definitive end in sight. It's a case of how long will this last for, you know? And it's people who have already been caged in already and who are paying the rules, fair play to them. But it's how long will this go? I mean, if you look at Boris Johnson's government and Nicola Sturgeon's government, uh, are they doing the best job? Uh, I don't think they are. Patience is wearing thin, but the data shows current restrictions are not working in Scotland. I'm a doctor, so I think seeing what I see at work, I think I've got quite scared over the last few weeks, certainly, so I think something had to change. Today was the last dance. Scotland now goes into hibernation, and the pace of the vaccine programme means it could be spring before it's safe to open up once again. Peter Smith, News at 10, Glasgow.